What he's trying to say is, we want you to join us. We've prepared an evoker for you. We'd like you to lend us your strength. <laughs> I was afraid you'd say no. I'm <laughs> glad to hear you're on board. Thank you so much. Truly. Oh, I almost forgot. About your room assignment. Why don't you just stay in the room you have now? I don't know what the holdup is, but I guess it worked out in the end. <laughs> Hold up? But wasn't that... Oh, never mind. That's all for today. I'll follow up with you regarding our club activities later on. Welcome back. So, how was it? I see. Well, if you gained confidence, that's the best thing you could have achieved. Wow! I never knew I had that kind of power! But damn, why do I feel so exhausted? Because you were bouncing around like a little kid. You say that, but you look pretty tired yourself, Yukatan. This is different. It's like I'm having trouble breathing. What's going on? That's the effect of the dark hour. You'll become fatigued more easily. Don't worry. You'll get used to it. I have to say, though, I'm surprised. You all did much better than I expected. At this rate, they'll catch up to you in no time, Akihiko. <laughs> we'll see about that. Did... Did we stop? Uh, I think so. Do you read me? Is everyone all right? Uh, yeah. We're okay. <laughs> my, my knees are shaking. Dude, I'm like drenched in sweat. It sounds like you're safe. 
I'm sorry I couldn't do more to help on my end. I don't detect any more shadows. Well done. You can come on back now. Wait, how did you know which one was the break? <laughs> you saved me again. Thanks. Uh, you know what? Never mind. Anyone want to grab a bite to eat on the way? I'm freaking starving. Enemy was clever, but you came out on top. Thank you. You did good too, Takeba. It's no wonder you volunteered. Uh, yeah, <laughs> right. And you as well. You were able to remain calm during the enemy's mental assault. Maybe you're finally starting to recognize yourself as a leader. Keep up the good work. Let's call it a night. Oh, Yukari-chan, um, about that thing you mentioned the other day. You found something? I yes. Okay, tell me about it later. All right, we should head back too. Hey, come on, Junpei, let's go. Fuka played a big role in this one again. Seems like the second years are really putting in the work. Looks like you're really shining out there, dude. Really now? Well, whatever, I guess. Don't tell me you're jealous someone else is getting all the attention. Shut up! What's his problem? I can't believe it's already the third day of our trip. It's too bad we have to go home tomorrow. I'd totally stay longer if I could, but I can't complain too much. We went through a hell of a lot here. Yeah, like hearing you and the chairman singing. I barely got any sleep last night. Do we have a mission at the beach today? Nah, it's nothing like that. We just came here to have some fun. Do you understand what it means to have fun, I guess? Yes, I am informed of the concept. Recreation is sustenance for one's mental well-being. Yeah, exactly! Wow, you sure know a lot about us humans. All right, let's take one last dip before we leave. Uh, wait. Junpei-kun, is it okay for I guess to go in the water? I'm sure she's fine. Oh, are you done already? 
It is best that everyone partake in this activity together. Deriving an enjoyment alone is not the optimal method to have fun. <laughs> You've got some strong feelings on pretty weird things, don't you? But what the heck, might as well. We should join them. <laughs> Agreed. Enjoying yourself? Quite a lot's happened during our time here. But it looks like we'll get to relax a bit today. <laughs> that would be nice. Sonata son! What are you doing? Come on, it's your turn! My turn? What are they doing? <laughs> Glad to see everyone's having so much fun. I've already told you what time the ship is arriving tomorrow, right? I'll probably head over to the port early. So don't be late. Okay, I'll let everyone know. We can get back to business once we've returned to the dorm. Got it. Hey, dude! Sonata son! All right, I guess we should join too. I guess wait, that's not what water got me! Kun is down! All right, here's our chance for an all-out attack! Wait, time out! This year's a good thing! Tomorrow will finally be our last operation. Yeah, we've been through so much over the last half year or so. Don't you think? <laughs> Honestly though, you always seemed exhausted. Hey, it was way better than just doing nothing, right? Besides, we made some new friends. <sighs> yes, that's true. Not a single thing we've done has been for nothing. It's been two and a half years since I got this power. And it's been worth it. Sonata-san. <laughs> Don't forget, we got to meet Koro-chan too. Still... Two and a half years is a long time, Sonata-senpai. Oh, wait! It's been even longer for I guess, hasn't it? I was in stasis for much of that time, so I haven't been operational for very long. How about you, Kirijo-senpai? You got your start before Sonata-san, right? Hmm? Me? Yes. It was just me at first. Of course, Seize wasn't around back then, and this was just a regular dorm. Did the chairman recruit you, too? No. He didn't. I've been aware of the Dark Hour since I was a child. Once, my father's research team was ambushed by shadows while they were investigating Tartarus. When I witnessed the attack, I awakened to my persona. That's what happened? Apparently, I was the first ever to reliably control my persona. If that had never happened, then maybe none of you would be going through this right now. Senpai... Someone would have gotten involved eventually. It's not like we could just ignore what the shadows do to people. I suppose that's true. our last operation, so make sure to rest up tonight.
Listen up, everyone. Now that we're good and stuffed, how about we take a picture together? A picture? Actually, I did try to take one last night. Except I forgot it doesn't work during the dark hour. You mean you brought a camera with you to the battle? Well, yeah. I mean, it was our last battle and all. Excuse me, mister. You mind taking our picture? Ugh, I feel like such a tourist. But, you know, I do kind of want a picture, too. Oh, wait. Mikutsuki-san and Igus aren't here. I guess we'll have to take another one later. All right, everyone, get together. Come on, squeeze in tight. Everyone, get real close to me. You want me close, too? Uh, no, not you. Jeez, don't make the poor camera guy wait all day. Hey, we're good to go. You can take the picture whenever. How's this for a pose? Hey, get your hand out of my face! <sighs> Is it just me, or did this not get my good side? We'll just take another one when I guess and akutsuki san get back, all right? Yes, yes, we hear you. I could really get used to this worry-free lifestyle. How about you, Koro-chan? Are you excited for all this meat? Try to keep your chin up, Junpei. I know. So what you want? This came from the hospital. Is this... Chidori's sketchbook? They found it while they were sorting through her belongings. Ah. Um... <sighs> I know. I gotta snap out of this, but... It's just so hard. Hey, can I take a look? You probably wouldn't understand her drawings anyway. <sighs> what the? Wow, it's really good. This is amazing. Who wouldn't understand a drawing like this? Detailed portrait of Junpei san. Chiori. <laughs> Junpei. <laughs> it's like she's. Telling me to stop moping around. Junpei kun. Okay, I'm gonna fight to get rid of the dark hour. I'm sorry for all the times I snapped at you. I still hate to admit it, but just know I'll be counting on you.
Hey, it's been a while. Midnight's just around the corner. When it hits, I'll lose this form. And I won't be me anymore. So, have you made a decision? Then, I'll be waiting in his room until midnight. Come see me when you have your answer. Ryoji-kun. Oh, and one more thing. Don't let the fact that you have to kill me influence your decision. Like I said, I'm gonna disappear either way. I don't have any hang-ups about dying, so you don't need to worry about me. <laughs> All right. I'll be waiting. Have you made your decision? I see. Have the rest of you decided? No need to ask me. You know how I feel. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't on board. I'm with the rest of you. I'm on board too. I've made my decision as well. Sounds like we're all on the same page. Better let him know then, okay? Hey, it's been a long time since we talked like this in your room. Though, back then, I had a different form and a different name. It seems like you all decided to let me live. You're all going to risk your lives on a battle you can't win. But they're not the ones here right now. You are. I'll say this one more time. If you kill me, Tartarus, the Dark Hour, and the memories of your battles will all disappear. Tomorrow, you'll wake up as a normal high school student. You'll be able to live in peace until the moment of the fall. But if you let me live, you'll spend every waking moment until that day dreading your inevitable death. Nyx can't be defeated. It's pointless to fight her. Are you still thinking, or have you already made up your mind? change your mind. There's still some time until midnight. I didn't want to have to show you this, but I have no choice. Do you see? I am not human. I will bring death to this world until I am finally satiated. There is no need to hesitate over killing me. Now, consider this very carefully. Is confronting Nyx really what everyone wants? Some things in this world cannot be changed. That's something you can't comprehend. Memories are not set in stone. Old ones can be replaced with new ones. Creating a new reality. Don't you think you should put a stop to everyone's pain and suffering? It's up to you. Only you can make this decision. Now, this is your last chance. Tell me your answer. Please kill me. More than anything, I don't want to see you suffer. After all, you're someone very special to me. I understand. 
As sad as I am to hear it, it's your life. You're free to do what you want with it. I'll respect your decision. Let's get back to the others. I need to tell you guys how to confront Nyx. <sighs> Somehow, I knew that's what you'd choose. I know you better than anyone, after all. I have this feeling like I always wanted to see you again. That's why I came back to you as Ryoji Mochizuki. Maybe there really is some power out there that can do the impossible. And if there is, I know you all have it. Oh, right. Here. I want you to have this. I know this isn't exactly the best timing, but I never thought I'd feel this way. Whenever you play this music box, I hope that you remember me. Come on, let's go. Everyone's waiting. Yo! What's up, Ryoji? <sighs> it's a painful decision, but it's yours to make. That's right. But it's impossible to defeat Nyx. We'll go as far as we can. We have to try. <laughs> You're the only one saying it's impossible. Personally, I don't care if it is. All right, then. It's almost midnight, so I'll make this short. I should tell you where to find Nyx. She's at the very top of Tartarus. On the promised day, you have to make your way to the top of the tower. The promised day? It's exactly one month from tomorrow, January 31st, 2010. On that day, Nyx will descend to Tartarus, and that's when the world will end. One month? Tartarus is a gigantic rift in the night sky. It acts as a beacon to guide Nyx. With the Apprisor's arrival, Nyx learns that the way has been prepared, and she begins her descent. And with her, she brings the Demise. That explains why it's called the Tower of Demise. So what you're saying is, we can fight Nyx if we reach the top? That's right, but remember, after today, You'll be fighting against eternal despair. I've said it before, but Nyx can't be defeated. When you come face to face with her, you'll finally understand why. And then, you'll realize exactly what you're trying to stand against. We understand. You don't need to keep telling us. One month from now, January 31st. We won't forget. Well, I'll be going then. I want to leave you while I'm still in this form. Ryoji-kun! I guess... I'm sorry for all the pain and suffering I put you through. I won't forget that you were my enemy. And my friend. I guess... Thank you. This is probably the last time we'll get to see each other like this, but... I'll always be watching over you. Well, so long then. Best wishes in the coming year. That's what you say on New Year's Eve, right? See ya. <laughs> that punk. We have one month until January 31st. We'll get through this together.
we now bestow upon thee. The ultimate form of the fool within thyself. Thank you.